Hey guys, it's PC Purse and I'm back. I've been gone for a while. Uh, a lot of things have happened, a lot of new things to update you guys on, a lot of new videos and stuff like that for you guys. So I'm really excited. And as you know, Jocelyn's Cabaret came back out. And so since that's kind of what I started with, I figured this is the thing to get me back into bringing the videos to you guys. So here we go. All right, so we got this new season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. This time we're in New York. Um, I'm excited to see what's coming for New York, but I feel like we've got a lot of the old girls. So how many people are really gonna be from New York? After this first episode, I still can't really tell. But what I will say is we had a lot of drama with Jocelyn with the fight after the Floyd Mayweather thing and stuff like that. So I thought maybe this season, since she said she was going to do a little bit more dancing, it's going to be in a new city. I thought maybe she's going to switch things up a little bit. But so far when the show starts, it is basically the way it was before. It starts off with her, <laughs> her new song. Um, she shot it in New York in the PJs. Check the song out. Let me know how you feel about it. I like Vegas better than this song. I'm going to say that. Let me know what you think. And um, after the song, which is really, really a long video, it starts off the same way all like the other season started. Her talking to Ballistic about what's going on, about the tour, about how she started off with the four girls, Lollipop, um, Raven, Diamond. I forgot the other girl, the white girl. And how now she's just down to Raven and Diamond. But Raven and Diamond has some stuff going on, so she's not really too happy with them. But um, yeah, after that, we see them on a private jet and she's talking to them about <laughs> the issues. And I'm like, what's up with these two girls? Raven got into some type of domestic dispute with an ex and she wound up with four felonies. And then Diamond hit a kid with her car, a little girl. And it's crazy because they say she's pregnant. And I'm like, sheesh, you need to be a little bit more observant, <laughs> especially if you're gonna be somebody's mama. But Jocelyn has issues with these two girls and so it's a little bit of tension with them on the jet and then after the jet we see them on the phone with melissa because melissa's kind of i guess the manager of the girls now and melissa's like yeah don't show up to work just jasmine's not really feeling y'all right now so don't show up so they feel some type of way so then we see jocelyn in uh i think it was starless that she had her performance and we all saw the viral clip where she's like, this is my first performance when I wasn't on no cocaine, no pills, no this, no that. She looked like she put on some weight. She still looks good. But um, we didn't really see the performance. And with the little clips that we did see, it was like, you know, the pose was more decorative. She wasn't really doing anything. I was hoping we'd see some choreography, but we didn't get that. So, all right. <laughs> Funniest part of <laughs> this episode to me, you can see Jocelyn's a stripper at heart because after she says the whole you know not doing drugs and stuff like that when she's out there on the stage somebody just throws money at her and she has this moment of just happiness she just smiles just money just smacking her in the face <laughs> and that was hilarious to me and then we see that she's kind of got this little chris brown meet and greet situation set up where people are coming and meeting her and she says it means a lot to her but i'm like she she get into the bag with that one i see her and then right before we get to the auditions, we have this cute little segment where we see Bonnie Bella and she looks just like Stevie and Mimi's daughter to me when, when she was that little. I'm like, man, Stevie's got some strong genes. And she's such a cute little girl. And she seems really happy and well adjusted. Jocelyn seems like she, she really loves Bonnie Bella. I like to see the two of them together. And then after that, then we finally get to the auditions and it's a lot of girls there. Um, a lot of shapes, a lot of sizes. Seems like girls that can dance, I'm willing to bet. And then a lot of the old girls came to the auditions. So then when we start seeing the old girls come in, we see like clips of things that they did in the past. So the first one is Wet Wet. Still super extra. She's sitting there with like a flowery top around like the bottom, but then all the top her boobs are out. And the boobs are still giant. They still look kind of hard. They look a little too big for her body or a lot too big for her body, in my opinion. And they don't look soft. They still look like they kind of hurt. I thought they were going to drop by now. We just see a lot of clips of her fighting and stuff like that. Um, people are saying what they're most memorable for. We saw Raven, um, her fighting and doing some like Nicki Minaj dance. Um, 
what else we also see miss natural miss natural looks really good um she cut her locks off. She looks real healthy, real happy. I know she was stretched the last time she was there. This season, she was she not coming to play. You know, she was one of my favorites from before, so I'm excited to see her back. Um, who else? We saw Daisy from season one. Okay. Um, who else? Yummy P came in a bad wig. I'm tired of Yummy P in the bad wigs. I like Yummy P as a dancer. I hate her wigs. But that has inspired me. I think I'm going to do a series on hair for, like, dancers with natural hair. Things to do with their natural hair. Things to do with wigs and weaves and things like that. Because them wigs are unacceptable. And I love to switch up my style. I love to switch up a wig on people. But just the, the, she could do better. We could do better. We're going to help her do better. We're going to help each other do better. I digress. But um, after Yummy P, we saw Lucky. And Lucky had a cute hairstyle. She has some little heart stitch braids on the side. Her hair is always, like, cute. She's usually on point with her look. She came in looking really cute. But Jocelyn had an issue with her, calling her a traitor. Yummy said she was used to it. Yummy's kind of used to taking abuse. Seems like she might be getting some from Jocelyn this season. I don't know, but... You know, after she showed up, Jocelyn made all the old girls dance first. And Daisy was the only one that was just kind of in jeans and a top and looking real regular while everybody else was in stripper attire. And she said she didn't think she was going to have to audition. And I'm like, last time we saw you with Jocelyn, wasn't she kind of like beating you up? You didn't think you was going to have to audition? Raven and Diamond were told that they couldn't audition. Di Raven is off on the side having a whole fit. But um, when the girls were dancing... <laughs> Miss Natural was dancing on Lucky, and Lucky said she was kind of like throwing her off a little bit. They look cute. Jocelyn seemed like she thought they looked cute. They look cute. Maybe she was, Lucky said she was drunk. I can't tell she was drunk. She didn't necessarily look drunk to me. But, um, you know, the old girls, for the most part, did a good job. And then they were supposed to see the new girls. We didn't see the new girls yet. But Raven had a fit, was saying that because she couldn't audition, she was going to have some guys pull up. She wound up getting kicked out. Jocelyn went outside to see her. And then the episode ends with Jocelyn just throwing her down to the floor. And I thought after all the trouble that she got in from last season and the reunions and then the stuff with the Mayweather fight that she would probably try to calm down. But she came into this season like, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm out the floor with y'all kind of thing. Same energy. So, um... Not looking forward to too much of that, but it seems like they might dance a little bit more this season. This first episode, there really wasn't any dancing on the pole to show you, but there were a couple of little clips in the end that showed what was going to come in the next episode that I thought was interesting. And so I think that's going to be our tutorial for today. So for our tutorial, one of the things that the girls did was this move that we call like the vagina monster. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Another move is a shoulder roll. I think that's something that you're going to need to learn. And so that can sometimes be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then later on, we start learning combinations. This will be something that you guys can always go back to. And if you're interested in this tutorial part, check it out now. Hey guys, come on down to the floor with me for this one. So we're doing the vagina monster, or I don't know, maybe you call it something else, but I've known it to be referred to as the vagina monster. It looks like a vagina monster because it looks like you're feeding the kitty cat, right? To make this move look not crazy, it has to be initiated from the right spot. So I'm going to help you figure out how to find the spot so that you can execute this move. So first things first, I'm going to show you what it's not. So when you do this move, you're going to want, it looks like you're bending your legs. You're going to go, oh, I can do this. And you're gonna look like a bug. I'm gonna turn around because I think this will be a little bit of a better view for you. And I'm gonna come down to my forearms because that might be a little bit easier. And I'm bringing my knees in and I'm gonna open up my legs. First, I'm just trying to find where I'm initiating the movement from, which is here. So I'm thinking about twisting my hips to one side and crunching in. So I'm bringing my hip in as much as I can get 
into another side. And that's how I set up front. It's gonna feel like some stuff on your abs. If you come up, I'm pushing into my hands to kind of turn me around. And that's how you walk with it. Think about doing an abdominal crunch. Think about being on one hip. Bring your hip and your arm to meet. This action of lifting your hip up and bringing it into your shoulder is what's happening as you're swinging your hips. So now for the feet. One, point your feet. You don't want them flexed to look crazy. Two, we're gonna do an exercise to try to get the feel of it. So you're kind of scooping in, but you don't wanna think about doing this with your legs. I want you to think like a cat. Think like a cat. You know how cats love to knock things off a shelf? Just reach their paw out and scoop it in? Imagine your legs are these paws, right? So choose either upright or come down to your forearms. Do a little abdominal crunch and bring your hips in. So think about tilting your hips and I'm scooping something in off the shelf. Once I scoop in and I've tilted my hips one way, then I reverse it and I'm scooping something else in. As I do that, Right? If I push into my hands, I can crawl. So it looks like a vagina monster because it looks like you're feeding the kitty cat, right? Right? It's a little flick in the legs. You want to try to bring the hips in as much as you can. You can walk with it. It looks a little crazy to walk with it. Um, I think it looks a little better if you just kind of lay back and rock with it, but here's another angle. Um, I think it can be a sexy movement if you add a lot of eye contact to it. So I also think it's a little bit better on your forearms. Scooping the dollars. <laughs> Hi, doggy. <sighs> okay, that's the vagina monster. Okay, so we're gonna go over a shoulder roll. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we'll do it together. Excuse me. shoulder roll the number one thing that I want to stress to you is where you're looking you don't want your head to get caught in a position where you're gonna get stuck and cause like issues to your neck so we're gonna enter the shoulder roll from a sitting up position but the thing to think about with the shoulder roll is one arm is gonna be flipped and then the other arm is going to be the direction that you look in so for example if I was sitting up and I were facing this way this arm would be flipped where the back of my hand is down and my palm is up. So it's gonna be like this. My other arm is gonna extend, right? And I'm gonna look under that arm. I'm going to stick this leg out for now. I'm gonna look under my arm and I'm gonna keep looking. My other arm is gonna find the floor. I'm gonna straighten my body out and come out of it. So. I'll do it from this angle. So this arm is going to flip. I'm going to look in the opposite direction and under this arm. Right. This hand is going to flip. And now both my arms are straight. Both my palms are down. And I'm going to come up. 
Make sure you have a clearing for your head. Make sure you're looking under that arm. All right, so then my back arm would be flipped. I'm looking under this arm. I'm straightening my legs. My hands are going to flatten out. And I'll come up. Another thing you can think about is if you can come into a plow position, right, which is this. This is another way to get into your shoulder roll. Bring both your hands down. Bring one knee down. And you'll come through. So it's the reverse of what we just did. So one more time. Your legs up. And behind you. Into a plow kind of position. I'm going to flip my hands. I'm gonna let one of my knees find the floor and that's the direction I'm gonna look in. Bam, hello, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna keep looking at my crotch and I'm gonna tuck back to a ball and come up. And this is the same position that we started in. So you can kind of just go back and forth. So, right, the knee on the floor, straight in my legs and come through, I can reverse it, come up, find the floor, and come through. So you can kind of keep going back and forth like that and practice it. Um, remember to keep your head tucked. Remember to look under that arm. Remember, uh, think about the direction that you're going in. Think about the positions that you're passing through, like the plow, think of the knee on the floor, think about the arm, think about the hands, and Okay, so let me know what you guys thought. How do you feel now that I'm back? Did you guys miss me? Don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. I'm low-key a perfectionist, and when I feel like I'm not doing things perfect, I'm like, I cannot work. But I'm working through those issues, so I'm going to try to be better for you guys and bring you lots of other tutorials, not just Jocelyn's show. So we're just getting back started. Let me know what you guys thought. Are you still supporting her after all the fighting? Are you not checking the season out? Is there anything else that you want to see? Um, check out the tutorials. Let me know. And I'll see you for the next one.